Well, good morning. Welcome to another video. It's not very good weather. <laughs> Myself, Steve, and Tom have come down to far, not farm fish, Finch Farm, to uh, see what we can catch. It's stuffed with all kinds of fish in here. Uh, the weather report said it shouldn't be raining uh, until about two o'clock this afternoon, but it's been hammering down for the last half an hour or so. <laughs> making things very tricky and probably not being able to hear much of this because of the rain. Um, we sat up under the shelter, finally, but I got absolutely drenched in doing so. My waterproof jacket, which is kind of here, is soaked. So, um, yeah, hopefully it calms down a bit because uh, it's not very pleasant fishing conditions, that's for sure. Jesus. But yeah, we're going to see what we can catch. There is literally all sorts in here, from roach, rud, tench, bream, carp, to the more unusual species like sunfish or pumpkin seed, which, clue in the name, it's unlikely we're going to catch one today. But um, there's also sturgeon in here. All, all manner of fish in here, really. Uh, it's over three lakes, so we're fishing kind of the main lake, which is kind of the all-rounder, everything kind of lake. Then you've got Anaconda Lake behind us, which is got, I believe it's got some big barbel, bream, pike, cats, all sorts in there. And then it's got the Cat Lake at the end, I think. I think that's what it's called anyway, which, strangely enough, has catfish in it. So yeah, let's, uh, let's get the kit, the kit, oh jeez. It's been a while since I filmed a video, so uh, yeah, a bit rusty. But let's, um, yeah, let's get the kit set up and see what we can catch. Over to the cut the phone, shall I say? <laughs> All plumbed up. Just a very standard float setup. Fixable reel. Job done. Let's see what randomness is around. That's really awkward light at the moment. Not a lot's happened. Uh, three bites but no fish which isn't it's not ideal I don't know whether maybe I'm fishing a little bit too heavy but size 16 hook a couple of maggots four pound line so it's not it's not like I'm fishing really heavy it's just if we if the fish that are biting down there a tiny little rud or gudgeon or something then um Maybe I should put an 18 on or something, but we'll see. We'll see how we go. I think Tom's, Tom's, let me see if I can pan this around, see if we can see Tom. So Tom is, who? Tom is there, just uh, fishing on the island. And uh, he's had a little roach, I think, or a bit of a roach just now. So, um... Yeah, hope, hopefully something happens. I mean, fairly optimistic, you know. I've been feeding little and often into the margins. At least it's stopped raining now, which is nice. The sun's come out and everything. So I'm sat under a shelter for no apparent reason right now. So I'll probably wait for it to dry off a bit and put it away. Yeah, it's just, it's, it's nice to be out on the bank. I've got Steve to my right. So yeah, hope, hopefully we can catch some fish. 
what we've started doing is feeding up a little area just over here so that I can get the feed rod out in a little while and have a go with that. So folk fishing is not, they're not exactly crawling up the rod. I'll give it a while longer anyway. It's been blown about a little bit by the wind. Just kind of trying to keep it in a in one position. It's a bit of a pain. But it's all good fun, all good fun. It's not actually very cold either. Bear in mind we are at the time of filming this anyway the very end of sort of December time and it's it's not that cold at all really it's very uh, very comfortable probably helps being sat underneath this thing but yeah, I'm still enjoying it Weird, you know, I know this place gets really busy in the summer, like packed in the summer. And I'm pretty sure at the moment it's just me, Steve, and Tom here. And that's it, as far as I know. Unless there's other people on the other lakes, which I haven't looked around yet, but I think it's just the three of us. I think it's about time as well to just let Tom know that you know we're we're still here. So I'm just gonna fire a little. A little boily or something over in his direction, I think, would be a good idea. Just so he knows we're still thinking about him, it's uh... Alright, if I get one more bite and I don't land it. I will change the hook. Have a look at that. Lovely. I said they got good perch in here, didn't they? What did you have it on, mag? Proper lump. I thought it was a little carp to start with. Is it maggot or um? Yeah, just maggot. Yeah. That was a carp. <laughs> yeah, Tom's just had a nice perch. Steve's had a roach, and I've caught a cold. Nah, it's, it's getting a fair few bites, but nothing, can't actually hook anything. So I'm just waiting, if I get one more bite, and I don't hook it, then I'm gonna change the hook. That's the only thing I can really think of, that's uh, that could hinder the not hooking the fish after so many bites. Just feeding little pinch of maggots every couple of minutes or so. I'm not going mad because it's it's not exactly warm. But it's not exactly cold either, so it's kind of in between. Well, we currently have some more of this non-existent rain, which is nice. I'm just getting nothing at all on the on the float. Tom over to my left, sort of catching fairly well. But he's um pole fishing to the to the island. So I thought well, if that's where they are, 
I'm going to set up my feeder rod. Bang it to the island. Yes, the float fishing is not working for me. This may not be in a very good area, who knows? All I do know is it's bloody wet out there. Considering it was showing not much signs of actually raining today. But here we are. Good old British weather. And the good old British weather forecaster who have always said it's got the easiest job in the world because he or she has no idea what they're doing. Probably should have made some ground bait up first. Didn't think of that, but there we go. You got it in yet, Tom? Making a f meal of it. Many, many years ago, me and Steve fished this lake after one species or one fish, and that's the pumpkin seed. Now, they're not very common in the UK at all. In fact, I think only a couple of places have them. Very ornamental looking fish, and it's only a little one. <laughs> Here he is, look at that. My first ever pumpkin seed. What an awesome looking little fish. It looks like it should be in an aquarium, not in a lake in the UK, but absolutely excellent. I'm over the moon with that. Let's uh, let's slip him back and uh, well, see what else comes along. <laughs> well, they're like buses at the moment. <laughs> Another little pumpkin seed. Amazing, absolutely amazing. It's funny, they, as soon as they come out of the water, they're very, very pale. And you can even see it now, starting to change color. So that it starts to go back to its sort of spotty sort of self. I'm over the moon with that. Oh, sp spiky little devil. Definitely. Amazing. Oh. He went back. <laughs> oh. See, that slight change. Size 18 hook. Single maggot. And it seems to make all the difference when it comes to actually hooking the fish. So... There's a possibility that this whole time has been um, little bites have been the little pumpkin seeds. And obviously they've got very small mouths. And the little hook's just making the difference. So I am still half setting up my feeder rod. But now that the float's actually starting to produce, I'm not in any rush. <laughs> Look at that, another one. Slightly bigger, this one. Absolutely beautiful looking fish. Like nothing else really in the UK, well, in, the, in, in lakes anyway. Over the moon. Oh, they're coming thick and fast now, so let's, uh, ooh, let's get him back and see if we can get some more. Right, gonna do some ground bait. Now, I am going to be using this. It's chili scopex and squid. It smells absolutely divine. That's your thing. <laughs> it's, not, it's not the nicest of smell, but if you're a fish. I'm hoping it will be. And uh, yeah, we'll start fishing up towards the island and uh, see what we can get. 
I'm going to continue with the float until that's all set up. In fact, probably what I'm going to do is make the ground bait up and have a bit of bit of lunch, and then uh, probably treat myself to a toilet break. Then, uh, yeah, we'll see how it progresses. I might walk around and have a, a little chat with Tom, see how he's getting on. There is no rush. There is no, yeah, no, no need to be fishing constantly. It's a nice, chilled, relaxed day. Exactly how it should be. Right, let's get some ground bit made up. for a little wander get the legs moving a little bit I think I'm just looking at the other lakes because in those three here I know there's the main lake that we're on there's also Anaconda and a cat lake I have a funny feeling Anaconda must be over to my left a bit more because I remember it looked it was a very thin sort of long lake so this lake here behind me which sort of goes around the corner and goes sort of up there. This must be the new, the newer cat lake. I don't actually know how new it is. I just don't think it was here last time I was here, but then that was probably over 10 years ago when I was last here. And to be fair, they've done a hell of a lot of improvements since I was last here. All these swims, which are on both that lake and the sort of the main lake that I'm fishing. So it's actually, you know, really good. There's lots of little lodges around the fishery as well. I'm not, not, not sure if these are sort of owned ones or whether you can rent them. So over there, you've got sort of little lodges next to the, um, right next to the fishery here. So I'm not sure if they're like, I don't know, Airbnb type things or whether you can rent them or whether people actually own them. I don't know. But yeah, it's actually, it's actually, you know, it's a lot of work has gone in down here. Now just putting all this sort of the gravel track that goes around the whole lake and these little swims in, even that's a hell of a job. So yeah, so it's a very nice looking little fishery. Now that I'm outside of the shelter, it is Baltic. My, my hands are absolutely freezing. So I think I'll, even though it's not raining, I think I'll just leave the shelter up anyway because it's much more comfortable sitting in there, that's for sure. Now, when I made the ground bait up, when I realise how cold this water is. It is freezing. So the fact that we've caught a few pumpkin seed is uh, it's quite quite incredible, really. But, I'm, um, yeah, I'm just having, having a little wander. I was going to go around to see Tom. And, uh, and then I'll get on the feeder when I get back, see if we can get a, a different species, another species. And... Um, I'm not quite sure what to use. I might start off with casters. It might go onto a worm, see if we can grab a grab a perch or two. But yeah, a lovely day and great to be out after well, sort of during the Christmas break at the moment. Although I don't know when this <laughs> when this video will come out, but um, at the moment it's during the Christmas break, so I'm off work. It's very very nice. It's been a very chilled time. Exactly what I needed. So yeah, very, very pleased to be out fishing. But let's, uh, let's carry on having a little wander and go and see Thomas. Thomas, Thomas is pole fishing today. How's it going? Yeah. Where are you fishing? Oh, right there. Down here, yeah, because <clears throat> loads of little roach have moved in over there. And it's too much effort to ship it out just to pull in an inch long roach. I've got 
this spot down here that um, we had a nice perch, big old perch. He was what, a pound and a half, two? Yeah, must have been, it was way over. Lovely, the time. lovely fish. Really fat, healthy looking perch. Um, yeah. It's like I'm on a species hunt. I've had roach, carp, perch, pumpkin seed, and then I lost a bream in my net. Oh, not the bream. I don't mind bream. No, I like bream. Hopefully we continue. It's been quite a good day, really. I've had a few, well, pumpkin seed, really. That's all, that's all I've had, loads of pumpkin seeds. Yeah. That's good, because he wanted one, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's been good. Um, you haven't had any carp? No, I'm just going about to go onto the feeder. So that, that might bring some different fish. Yeah, there's loads of fish moving around. Okay. Yeah. No one's told them what time of the year it is, have they? No. No, it's definitely definitely very active. Let's go back into this one now, because that margin spot, I thought that would produce. I've been putting bait in every so often. But nothing. Really, you can just drop straight in and catch something doing that. Yeah. I'm going to walk back over and have a go with the feeder. <laughs> Ooh. Thomas's pumpkin seed. This is smaller compared to this morning's one. Yeah, I've had a couple of That's tiny ones and then they're not a not too bad one. Such a strange fish. They literally look like something you see in Thailand or something. Yeah, so Tom's doing, Tom's doing very well on the, on the old pole. I must admit, it's something, oh, this weather. It's something I want to get into is pole fishing. It's just a huge expense to get the box and the pole, the rollers and everything you need to go with it, as I don't have any pole kit at all. So maybe something for the not too far distant future, distant future will be some pole kit. All right, I'm going to head back down to my swim now and uh, get back in my shelter, do a bit of feeder fishing. God, I must admit, I feel a little sorry for Steve as um, he's travelled down from Bristol, obviously, to be with his family in, in Basingstoke over the, um, over the Christmas period. So he's obviously come down on the train. So he's only brought limited stuff with him. Now that didn't include a shelter. <laughs> so, um, although yeah, I've said he can come and sit in here with me, but he's, well actually I think he's, I think he's talking to Tom at the moment, but this is awful weather, really bad. <laughs> I haven't fished, I mean, I nearly didn't bring my shelter and if I hadn't, I probably would already be in the car on the way home by now. <laughs> I would not be sitting in this. So this little day shelter, I've had this for years, it's a quorum one, and it's absolutely perfect for this kind of thing. It goes up really quickly. So uh, yeah, I'm very pleased that I've got it today, that's for sure. Although it's not helping me catch any more fish because the feeder has done absolutely nothing so far. So I'm gonna give that a recast in a minute, somewhere different. And uh, yeah, keep plugging away. Now, because of personal problems, I haven't done much fishing at all recently. In fact, the sort of the most recent fishing session that I had, um, bar a little law fishing uh, session, was um, the Anglers Paradise Law Fishing Weekend, comp the law fishing competition. Uh, in the past, I've actually done fairly well at this. You know, I've won it. Uh, the last one that before COVID, uh, I won that one. And then the one after COVID, I come second. And I've won the sort of biggest perch, biggest trout, you know, all kinds of little things uh, at, at the competition. And, um, but this year, 
Yeah, not so much. I did all right. I caught a, I caught an absolutely beautiful rainbow trout. Um, yeah, I think it was it, potentially a PB. I think my PB rainbow trout was around eight, eight and a half pounds, but it was it was around there. Well, between I'd probably say between seven and a half and eight pounds. Wasn't weighed. They're all measured during the competition, but um, but it was a fantastic weekend. So I thought I'd just drop in a few highlights here. I don't think, well, there's not really any video of fish themselves because obviously it's competition. I didn't really want to be carrying around a tripod with me. But have a look, it was some great fun. feeder rod has been a fail. <laughs> this is me wrapping the line around my hand to bring it back in. <sighs> because of the wind, it's been incredibly difficult to get it where I want it. Although that may sound strange on such a small little lake, you, you literally just do an underarm flick and you're on the island. <laughs> you know, we. We are fishing here in a in a storm, effectively. I can't remember its name, but it does have one, which means it's a storm. <laughs> so um, and then, so I cast it onto the bank. I got it somehow; it come back to me. And then I cast it into the reeds again. I managed to get it back. And then I thought, right, I'm fed up with trying to cast to my left because I just kept casting into things. So I thought. I would then go to the right and just swap it round. So I cast it into a tree. <laughs> Somehow I still got it back, but what I hadn't realised is further down the blank, sort of towards the reel, was a massive wind knot. And I can't be bothered to set it all up again. So I'm going to just leave that and go back onto the float because. To be honest, I'm trying to stay calm. <laughs> That's my my thing for t for the year or for the new year is to try and be a calmer person because I'm a stress head and yeah, I'm getting frustrated with the feeder. So that is going out of the way, and I'll go back on the float. Let's see what else we can catch. I might actually, I've got, I've got worms with me. I'm going to go out with maggots again to start with. And then I'm going to give the worm a go. Oh, to be honest, we're not going to stay much longer. It is absolutely horrendous weather. So we will call it quits. Probably within the next, probably within the next hour or so. And uh, head home. But even if I head headed headed, God, I can't even speak today. Even if we um, head home now, I would still be happy because I I caught the pumpkin seed that I so desperately wanted to catch. So it has been potentially, you know, not potentially, God. So it has been, in theory, a very good day because that is exactly what we wanted to catch a pumpkin seed, a very, very rare fish in the UK. So I'm very happy with that. But let's see what else we can catch for the remainder of the time here.
hopefully something else, or just some more pumpkin seed. Either way, I'll be happy. Look at that. I think that's my biggest one yet. I might go and stick it on Steve's special uh, mini species scales to see what this one weighs. Excellent. Right. Here he is, there's the beast. 52 grams on Steve's special scale. So we'll convert that later or work that out, whatever that is in ounces. It's not big, but it's my biggest pumpkin seed. I am over the moon with these little fish. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. 1.8 ounces, roughly. These converted, which doesn't sound a lot because it's not, but that to me means more than a 20 pound carp because you can catch them fairly easily at most places, but pumpkin seed, you cannot. Another beautiful little pumpkin seed. Unbelievable. Waited all this time for somewhere to, to catch a pumpkin seed. And I, to be fair, I knew they were here. I just hadn't come back, that's all. Actual sun out. I have caught something that isn't a a pumpkin seed. I have caught a bream. <laughs> oh, slimy little devil. Oh, it's freezing cold. Here we go. Oh, the slime. <laughs> Lovely little bream. Massive eyes. This almost looks like a silver bream, but I don't know if they've got them in here. Ooh. But you never know. They've got everything else in here, so it could have been a silver bream, but it was a bream either way. That beautiful roach. So I've just introduced a bit of ground bait. And there's a proper roach. I just put a little bit of ground bait in as I had some made up. Yeah, lovely fish. It seems to have uh, seems to have brought on the other species. The only problem now is I'm not catching any pumpkin seeds. <laughs> but I've had a few, that's fine. Well, I'm gonna call that it. It's been an absolutely brilliant day. We've had a fair few different species and obviously the main one being the pumpkin seed. The pumpkin seed, which has been phenomenal to catch, especially in the quantity we've had as well. Now they don't grow very big, so we've had, you know, some fairly nice ones really. Fishing with, fishing with the old mucker Steve and uh, with Tom as well. 
which is a rarity. I'm normally fishing on my own. The only downside is obviously having filming inside a, a shelter. Not exactly the most scenic setting, but um, yeah, it's been an absolutely brilliant, brilliant day. So thank you very much for watching. As always, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you on the next one.